Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Anna, football, it's close. It's so close, and that's what's on everyone's mind right now. But basketball season, it's going to be here before we know it, too. That's right, and now we know the official start date Big Blue Madness is back this year for both the men's and women's programs. So mark your calendars because Madness will be on Friday, October 15th inside Rupp Arena. Tickets will be free, and UK is planning on the event being held at full capacity. And you saw her right there, Ryan Howard. She is back for her senior season. It's her last Big Blue Madness as a Wildcat, so it's going to be a special one, I'm sure. Should be a big season for her, and I got the chance to sit down with Ryan's coach, Kyra Elsie as she's preparing for her second season in the head coaching chair. Here's our conversation. Early prep for 2021 underway. The team arrived in Lexington late June. What are you seeing out of your squad so far? You know, I am so excited about this team. Uh, I really underestimated not having a summer um, last year. So not only on the court, but off the court. You know, we have been to the Red River Gorge. Uh, we went hiking. Uh, there was only one player that had ever went. So they didn't really understand when I said we are going up, that it was actually a workout. So wasn't that fun? We got to hang out and it was actually a workout. Um, and then we did the America Ninja Warrior, which was harder than what you think. But when you put a bunch of competitive girls um, through an obstacle course, amazing. Um, but on the court, you know, I like uh, where their mentality is. You were thrust into the head coach position beginning of last season. Not much time to prepare for that. What were some of the lessons you learned after that first year? Well, it's called learning on the job. Failure was not an option. I got baptized by fire. Uh, but what I learned is having phenomenal people around you. I was surrounded by an amazing staff. There is no way uh, that we would have gotten done what we did without Coach Butts, uh, Daniel Boyce, Coach Dunn, Coach Amber Smith. So having phenomenal people around you is a must. Um, and then be okay with learning and growing. You're not going to get it right 100% of the time. Learn and grow and then just trust your instinct and gut. You know, I've been in the business for 20 years. Um, so I knew some of the stuff. Other things, I was like, where is this in the head coaching manual? Uh, but having Coach Mitchell on speed dial was also a uh, great thing. Uh, but Kentucky, amazing people. That's what I'm curious about. You know, you're not new to the program. You've been here combined nearly a decade, but I'm sure being in that role for the first time, there was stuff that surprised you. What was the most surprising thing? Well, you know, people always tell you when you move over, um, you no longer become that popular coach. So I went from being a player's coach to now you have to bring down the hammer and make tough decisions. And they're like, oh, you're not so cool anymore. But I will say having relationships with the players uh, really helped us overcome a lot of adversity um, and obstacles. We talked to Coach Gail Gestenkors when she, her hiring was announced. Phenomenal leader basketball knowledge and just her experience she's played in two uh coached in two national championship games at duke texas what does she bring to the squad well her knowledge i mean her experience um but also i love her temperament she's really not too high not too low which was good because myself coach amber coach butts we're all high energy really passionate uh, you know, get into the games with intensity. So it's good to have a good balance, but her wealth and knowledge. I mean, I am blessed to have two Hall of Famers. They asked me on the recruiting trails, how did you get so lucky? I was like, I don't know, but I'm honored to have Coach uh, G, as we call her, and Coach Lynn Dunn, two Hall of Famers. So um, the knowledge that they bring to the staff is second to none. Big source of scoring gone though, Chastity Patterson. How do you plan to make up for that? Well, Blair Green, she's going to step up, which you saw uh, some uh, last year. Jasmine Massingale, Robin Minton, they are both capable scorers. But, you know, a lot of people, even though they played college basketball, they hadn't played at Kentucky. Um, then we have Treasure Hunt, who is a capable scorer. So I think just blending the chemistry um, and really having the opportunity to gel this summer uh, will help us offensively. So Jada Walker, the only freshman joining the team, tell us a little bit about her. A go-getter. She's a coach's kid. Um, she's 100% committed to hard work. Uh, she plays with a high motor, a confidence. Uh, you all will absolutely love her. I called her 
um, maybe her first night on campus. And I was like, Jada, I was just checking in. Is everything okay? She said, I'm great coach. When do I get my playbook? She was like, I want to make sure that I'm ready for practice. And I was like, don't worry, we're going to get you settled in. And her second question was like, I can't come into the gym yet because we don't have our COVID result test back, correct? I was like, correct. And she goes, it's okay. I've been over at the blue courts getting my shots in. So much experience returning three of your top four scorers. How does that change a team? Well, having Ryan Howard uh, back does help, but also the play of Jasmine Massengale as our, our point guard and then just returners. So we know what to expect. They know what to do. And quite honestly, we are on a mission. We didn't finish like we wanted last year, so it kept us hungry. So great talking with Coach Elsie. Always appreciate her time. Stay right there. More BBN tonight right after this.